Welcome to my channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been here. I needed a break to figure out what I wanted to do, if anything, with this channel going forward. Um, I kind of had to reassess um, how much of my time and effort I was going to invest in this channel. Um, I, I, need, I needed to do some 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 thinking. Um, and now that I've decided what I want to do with it, I'm back. Welcome to those of you guys that are new. I know we've been joined by quite a number of new people um, in the past few months. I'm grateful that you chose to join me even though it was really an abandoned wasteland for quite a while, thank you. Uh, today's video is probably my most requested uh, in the recent past, uh, which is my living room tour. If you haven't seen my tour of my living room <laughs> just after I moved here, I will link that in the eye above. Uh, I've changed a few things, but I've stopped changing things because I've decided that I am going to move. Um, those of you that have been here a while know that I've been going back and forth and I'm in an eyeing about moving almost since immediately after I moved here. So I've decided that I will be moving out, God willing, um, uh, at my lease renewal date. So because that move is going to be a hefty investment, again, God willing, I've decided to just stop investing in this space altogether. So this is going to be how it's gonna be until I leave. So I figured this was not a bad time to share the room. Um, I think that's as much introduction as we need. You guys know I have a tendency to ramble. Uh, and, and usually the thing that keeps me from uploading is I just can't face editing myself. Um, I just, I talk to God that much. To myself, alone in my house, it's weird. So in that spirit, let's get into it so I have less suffering, you know. Certainly the biggest change that I've made in this room since that video is this couch. Um, I got this shortly, I think, shortly after I made that video. I was considering actually a green couch, but I opted for the tan uh, because I, I thought the green was really tempting me and it's actually the, the one I have in my office. Um, but I decided to go for the tan because I, I just thought I would have more wiggle room and more creative um, and design options with this couch. This couch is from TAC uh, and while it is sold out at TAC, I know that other um, retailers are offering um, the couch as a set. So you can get this and the two-seater and two single-seaters, um, but TAC was offering them in singles. So I got this three-seater couch and then the green one for my office. I love it. It's very well made, very sturdy. I love the feet, the, the kind of chrome uh, feet are very attractive to me. I generally like furniture to be raised off the ground. I don't like furniture to sit really low to the ground because I think then um, the room gets really filthy and dusty and everything just feels really heavy. I'm big on things feeling light. Um, a, a big thing for me is airiness um, and I, I think you'll see that in a lot of the house. I like things to, st to stand tall on their legs or be invisible. Uh, so I like that it has tall feet, it doesn't sit heavy on the ground, given it's such a solid piece of furniture. I also like the the, the bounciness. I slept on this couch actually uh, more than once because it's just so comfortable. I'll be laying here watching TV and then wake up at one in the morning because I fell asleep on it. That's never happened to me on a couch before. Typically, I'm, I'm quite fussy about where I can and cannot fall asleep, but this is by far the most comfortable couch I have ever owned. To be honest, I am thinking about selling and buying another one for my next space. Um, a lot depends on a lot with that space, but uh, I, mm, I'm thinking about it. Again, you'll be the first to know because I did actually sell my, my white couch to one of you guys. So if I choose to let this one go, you will be the first to know, but it will certainly be difficult for me to do that because I'm in love with this couch. Love it, love it, love it. Probably the second most important part of a living room or a living area is usually the coffee table. I know not everybody has a coffee table. Most people that I know that have smaller children will opt to not have a coffee table. 
but I've had a coffee table my whole life. Like my, my mom always had that, so I just could not fathom not having a coffee table. However, I always felt that coffee tables took up so much visual space. So it has been a goal of mine for a long time to have a glass coffee table. I finally got one when I moved into this apartment. I'm still absolutely in love with it, I'm obsessed. All of my glass um, furniture, so this coffee table, um, the nesting tables that you'll see, this console and my desk, they forced me to do quite a bit of wiping. I'm constantly wiping um, my glass furniture and my mirrors because uh, I have a lot of glass and mirrors in the house and I just like the visual effect of nothingness. Um, so despite the labor attached, I'm still absolutely in love with this coffee table. I like that it's there but it's not there. It's, it's, it's a piece but it's not really, you know, I just, I love visually how it gives, it just, she, she's giving us nothing, you know, I love, I love that. Um, on the coffee table I have this kind of centerpiece which actually I prefer off off to the side because when I'm laying on the couch I don't want it to be like blocking my view of the TV my TV is right over there so whenever Consolata, that's my cleaning lady whenever she comes she puts it in the center I think she thinks I, I accidentally move it to the center but I always have to move it back because I, I, I don't like it right in the center and uh, it houses just a few things um, I'm an hourglass maniac. If you're new here, I love hourglasses. I like how they are both finite and infinite. So the, an hourglass that only run for a certain amount of time, but you can always keep turning it over. I think it's a metaphor for life that you only have a short time on here, but you can have so many lifetimes in that one life, lifetime. It's a long, don't let me get into the poetry of hourglasses. <laughs> so lots of hourglasses, a skull here which houses liquor. This is a bottle um, and it's from Mr. Price Home. It's some more little hourglasses. Um, an apothecary bottle from Mr. Price that was gifted to me uh, by a friend. And some scrolls. They, they, they just, it's a, it, they're books rolled up in ribbon and they're from Ashby Furniture Home Store. Vignettes in my house change quite a bit. So this changes quite a bit. I mean, I move my decor around. Um, so things from the office might move here sometimes, things from my bedroom might move here, things from here might move into the dining room. I change things up, but this is where we are at the moment. It's, it's going to be different in a week, but this is where we stand. The big Sinea thing is from, um, from Ashley, no, from Oka Deco. Uh, I was looking for a white tray, but couldn't find a white tray that wasn't plastic. I didn't want to have a plastic tray on here, so I bought a Cinea instead, and I think it's worked beautifully. I kept my Eames chairs because I just love them. I've, I'm still not over the look of Eames chairs in the living room. I think it's a bit disarming. You don't really expect them in a living room, uh, but I love them. I like the kind of Scandinavian feel. Again, they sit very tall on very skinny legs with a lot of air underneath them. I like that look in furniture in general, so I kept them, but they were on the other side, and I've moved them to this side. I like them better on this side. When my mom comes over, she actually ends up sitting here. It's weird, you'd imagine that she'd get comfortable on the couch, but she finds these very comfortable. These chairs are oddly, disarmingly comfortable. They're just very ergonomically built. I really enjoy them and I will keep them, I think, even if I end up um, not keeping them in the living room in my next space, I'm keeping these chairs um, probably um, for outdoor seating. I just I just think they're perfect. Love them, got the black and the white both from Ordinance Kenya. The pillow on the black is from from an Instagram store. I'll find it and I'll put it in the description box. And the pillow on the white is from Mr. Price Home. It's a really beautifully embroidered, um, textured pillow. Uh, among the first things I bought, actually my first matchbox apartment, if you guys remember. <laughs> Over here in the corner, let me show you. Over here, not really much is going on. You guys will remember the lamp from the last time that you were here. <laughs> it is the lamp that I got from Odds and Ends. I love this lamp with the satin um, kind of shade on it. The pleated satin is just, it's just so beautiful to me. I do still have the, um, the bedside lamps in the same style. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I added the, the nesting tables because the room is so large that my coffee table I found insufficient for the room. Um, you'd be sitting on any of the, the, the chairs or the couch and you'd have to lean so much to get to your coffee or whatever it is I had put in front of you. So I felt that I needed at least stools. 
so that I could reach or anyone that I had over could reach their coffee or their drink or their uh, whatever the case may be. So I bought these at, um, at Victoria Courts just over Christmas actually. Um, just before Christmas they had a sale and I got the set of three there. They're beautiful, they match my coffee table with the with the shade of green. I didn't want that, that borosilicate non-glass, like the, the glass that looks like glass. Um, Material, I didn't want that. I wanted actual heavy glass and I wanted to have that that greenish look of glass. You know what I mean? Um, so that was important to me. Exactly the same thickness as my coffee table, incidentally, um, which <laughs> I, I found interesting, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, we have to do that. Um, this bucket here is holding an orchid that I don't really know. I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm memorizing a stick. Everybody that I ask says it's still alive because the the, the leaves are green, but the stems are sticks. So I, I don't know what's going on there. I, I continue to water her. Her name is Olivia. I, I, I don't know what's going on. So that's her. And she's sitting in an ice bucket that I um, stole from my mom. <laughs> this is from my mom's house. I don't know where she got it. She must have got it at one of her um, antique sales because she attends a lot of like, mom is really into antiques. Um, I'm really not but I thought this was beautiful. It's kind of a copper tone. Somewhere between rose gold and copper, and I love it. It's the, the thick door knocker handles for me that I love. I haven't changed anything about my French windows at the end. I just have shears over it. I like the light coming in. It gets quite bright in here, and that was actually one of the biggest, um, ooh, one of the biggest selling points for this apartment for me was how much light comes in. So I've never gotten curtains. And actually, in my whole adult life, I just I don't like curtains in general. I like I like shears because I like light. Uh, so that's it for this corner. Uh, here on the other side, I haven't changed anything. I think everything that is here was here the last time that I did a video about this room. The mirror I had since my last apartment. I had these made. I will link my mirror makers in the description. Well, it's not a link. It's a phone number that I have for them in the description box. My um, the vases, the tall vases, uh, the this, this, this cylindrical ones are from Tac. The leaves um, are from House of Leather, and the brass vase inside the other vase is stolen from my mom's house. Actually, maybe that wasn't here the last time that you were here. The brass vase is stolen um, from my mother's house, and it is antique. I, I, that's all I know. Um, the spherical vase is also from Tac. I love it so much. Oh, it's, I picked a terrible day to do this because I should have done this on a day when I had flowers. I just got my flower delivery today, so I haven't put, you'll see, I'll show you later. But I haven't put the, the roses in here. It looks absolutely stunning with a full bouquet of uh, red roses in it. I love, love, love this um, vase. But uh, other than that, I don't think anything has changed to my recollection. <laughs> hmm. No major changes on the TV wall. Um, I, I, the knickknacks have definitely changed. I don't remember whether in that video um, I had this print, but just to explain, I got this print, or I specifically wanted a print here. Let me show you to hide my TV cable, the cable leading up to my TV. Everyone told me to get cable management and get that thing that hides the cable or that houses the cable, but you, those usually come in white, which doesn't solve my problem. I just didn't want to see. The cable so I got a print here I sometimes interchange this with one that's in my in my um, in my office uh, but you'll find that a lot of my kind of art um, or you know uh, object dot uh, are very I like I think that the female form is the most beautiful of God's creations I just think God did, oh, I just think God did amazing with us <laughs> you know I like the look of curves I like the look of I don't know so this is a woman wearing stockings with a garter. I just, oh my God, it's everything, love it. Um, generally, I'm into anatomy and that kind of thing. So you'll see a lot of kind of human things or anatomy things in, in my space. That's what I find beautiful. So throughout, actually throughout the apartment, all the little kind of knickknacks that don't really serve any purpose than to be beautiful are usually based on the human form because I just think God did great with us. Good job, God. Knickknacks on this um, TV stand change quite a bit because I redecorate quite a bit. I have a few things that I move around the house and recycle around the house. Currently, we're looking at a champagne glass and a wine glass because I love champs and I like my vino. 
this thinking face. This doesn't really leave here for the most part. Um, I bought this at Tac. I just like the I just like the, the the thinking face because you know everyone should use their head. Down here, I have some fragrance samples because I like to, to play with fragrance when I watch TV. I have a Christian Duo candle over here, um, and these are sitting here to hide my extension cable where sometimes I'll charge my phone or I'll uh, connect a diffuser, the diffuser or. Um, line up this lamp here that I got from Oka Deco. Um, I have a skull over there, like I said, I like anatomy. Um, down here I have my favorite coffee table book, it's called Elements of Style. Um, really, really love that book, it's by Erin Gates. Honestly, I thought that I'd be changing this out a lot more, but it's actually the one that I like to look at the most. So I actually haven't changed that in a very long time. I have a random um, pearl crown. Um, I have a few crowns, but this is my favorite one, small but tiara. Some display boxes from Ashley Furniture, a uh, home store, an hourglass in a beautiful frame, two female forms. Um, it's hard to get on camera, but one of them is marble and one of them is white. Um, and they're vases, they're not statues, they, um, you can put flowers in them. I very rarely do. I have a dish here with my sage um, smudge sticks under here and my coasters, which are mirrors, and I got those at. Uh, Mr. Price home. I've had those forever. My fake elephant ear plant is here. I do not have the wherewithal to keep a plant of this size alive, so I have a pretend one. Um, and this is from, gosh, I think it was either Mr. Price or Tack. One of the two, ages ago, um, probably 20. 19. Yeah, and I think that's it for the TV wall. The details on the paint will also be in the description box and the TV if you're interested, but it's not the, I mean, it's nothing fancy. Uh, next, the TV in my entryway is this little stand thing. It's part of a coffee table that I had since my first apartment. You can either put it on it like flat where it's um, longer this way or tall. Um, I love it. <laughs> Uh, I've carried it around from house to house because I know what I want to do with it when I'm actually in my big dream townhouse So I find ways to make it useful. The last time you saw it, I think it was laying down but I'm standing up I have my shopping basket under here, which I grabbed to go, you know, on errands or whatever um, I have a few knickknacks here. I have um, a display case with my masks and some coins like some change whenever I need I need some. I have a candle there I have this beautiful ginger jar from Ashley Furniture home, home Store. A couple more skulls, which are actually bottles. I keep liquor in them. So the clear one has um, vodka in it, and the black one has gin in it. Um, a catch-all, which has my magnifying glass, a candle lighter, a lip balm, keys for other properties, that kind of thing. Another hourglass and another hourglass. I have a bit of an hourglass. Um, crazy lady, in case you can't tell. And that's really it for the entryway. I also have mail over there that I need to kind of deal with, so I, I keep it there, so I remember to take it out when I need to take it out. I still have and love this long white bench um, that was part of the set with the couch from the last video. I just could not bring myself to let this go. Um, it's one of my favorite features of my living room because while it is comfortable, casual seating, um, and I like that it's here because anyone that needs to put their shoes on as they leave the house can just kind of, you know, sit here and do their shoes up while we chat. I think it's very functional furniture for, for most things. I love this bench so much. It was made, um, that couch and this bench were made, I, I had a design idea in my head and I had to like draw it out with my carpenter at the time. I still love it. So I, I may have it reupholstered at the next place. So I want to change the legs and the, um, and the upholstery, um, but the style of just having this bench is perfect. It does also coincidentally, my design idea when I got this bench was to put it in front of the, the couch that it matched with and create like a, a big Netflix and chill kind of bed situation. Um, luckily, it fits perfectly in front of my new couch. Uh, <laughs> so if I, I if I pull my, my coffee table forward, I can fit this right there, and then me and a few friends can watch Netflix, and everyone can be stretched out, um, you know, without 
having recliners in the house. I, I really dislike the look of re recliners in furniture. If, if it's not in a movie room, I just I, I don't I don't find them aesthetically pleasing. So I like the idea that I can have re like a um, the effect of a recliner without having reclining chairs in my house. I don't I don't like that look at all. So kept this and also kept this cake from uh, the Clean Cut, which is my friend's line. I will link her. Um, her Instagram handle below. It's actually a cape, which I just throw over my shoulders if I get cold and I don't necessarily need the throw that's on the couch. I get so many questions about this carpet. I know that many people tell me that it is available in Nairobi, but never in this color. This was sent to me by a friend that lives in Turkey. I had seen the ones in Nairobi and I'd asked dealers if they could get me a white equivalent and no one had a white equivalent, but they always told me that it came from Turkey. So I called a friend of mine that lives in Turkey and he set me up like he went and found it and rolled it up and put it on a courier and sent it to me so I don't know where he did it in Nairobi but I, I mean I see so much of this carpet that for sure someone in Nairobi must have brought it in um, in white if you are interested in the same rug in other colors I'll try and link gosh do I remember but I'll try and link a few Instagram stores that I've seen with a gray version a black version I think I've seen a, a like a, a burgundy kind of maroon version. I just haven't seen anyone selling my white one, so I, you know, I don't know. And now we've gone all the way around the room to uh, the other side of the couch. So over there is the nesting stools that have the lamp sitting on them. This is the couch. This is the bench. Um, and over here I have this beautiful console. I had wanted the odds and ends one, but the odds and ends one has a shelf right here. A thick brown shelf, which I just thought took away from the beauty of the clear glass console. So I held out and I was lucky to find the same glass again as my coffee table um, without the shelf at Victoria Courts. I saw it and I just, I just had to have it. This wasn't even in the plan that day, but this and the nesting stools had to come with me because I was like, I don't know when I'm going to see this again. So I, I, I had to take it home. Actually, this was the last, the last piece. It was the showroom piece. At Victoria Courts, so it, I mean, she had to come home. We had to find a way to do it. Um, so over here, I just have it's. I mean, I think it's very simple. I have an hourglass sitting under a cloche. I have my telephone, which is standard issue. Um, the apartment, um, the man, the apartment manager issues this to us so that they can call us from the gate um, if there's a delivery or someone you know wants to come and see me. I'd be like, yes, let them up. I don't expect them to murder me, kind of thing. Um, I did ask on Instagram if someone could, could find me, or if you guys could find me a rotary phone to replace this, because I find this one hideous. But I now know I want to change this in case my next place has like an intercom system, or in case I don't actually need a phone. So I'm hanging in there with this phone, despite the fact that it's such an eyesore. I hate, I hate to look at this phone. Like I don't want to turn around and look at it now. Um, <laughs> but in the meantime, and the between time, this is my phone. Under here I have these two trunks from um, Orca Deco. They are still empty. I had thought, for some reason I thought that I could fit my candles in there. Um, I had this idea, maybe I could put my candles in there, my scented candles, but I have too many freaking candles. It didn't, they didn't even house half of my candle stash, so uh, they remain empty. Um, and these two storage books, which are from Palacina Interiors, I keep random things like this big one has my remote I don't I'm big on everything having a place so I don't like for the remote to just be hanging about loosely I, I, I don't like that at all so it houses my remote and the book I'm currently reading um, and this other one usually has a lighter for candles and uh, uh, a room scent like a room spray uh, again things that need to be here but I need, I need them to have a home I don't, I don't like things lying about. And then these two LED candles are from House of Leather. Uh, they light up, they're cute. They're very nice when I'm trying to create kind of ambient, dim mood lighting. Love those. Very little has changed in my dining room. Um, I have the same pub table in here from Furniture Palace. Uh, the, this tray has changed. I think before I had that, that long white cheese plate. I now have this tray, it's a glass tray from TAC, and I keep the same basic stuff on it. Um, salt and pepper, uh, a jar of toothpicks, some glass, um, mirror coasters. I'm keeping currently my, my Everlasting Rose under here from Cote Noire. It was a gift, a Christmas gift from my friend Jerry 
for Christmas 2019, if I'm not wrong. Um, but usually, when I have flowers, and again, I just got my flower delivery there right there. <laughs> There's a bucket right here, I'll show you. Um, when I have flowers, they should be here, and then this is elsewhere, or this is not in the dome. Again, my vignettes, my little decor things, change quite a bit. So currently, that's what's there. And I have a candle burning. I have nothing else in here. Um, oh, this mirror was made by the same mirror people. I will link or I'll put the number in the description box. And it's the same black that's on the wall in the living room. Uh, nothing has changed. The, the window is still just shares. Um, yeah, nothing has changed in, the, in this dining room. I, I think maybe before I had it oriented this way at some point, uh, but I'm back to have it, having it oriented towards the kitchen. Um, it just It's just a better flow. Uh, but otherwise, it's exactly the same as you left it. And that is it for my living room tour. What's that on the floor? Oh, that's my, <laughs> that's my groceries. I just got a grocery delivery from Careful. So all of that is sitting there waiting to be sorted because I just I got that stuff literally like five minutes before I started to shoot. So that's what that is. Uh, but yeah, that's my entire living area. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tour. My fixtures, <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to see the ceiling through the viewfinder. My light fixtures haven't changed. I decided not to change them when I decided to move. So I was going to, but now I'm gonna wait and see what, what we're working with in the next space. Again, God willing. Uh, thank you for watching. If I forgot to name um, my sources for anything important, just let me know in the comments and I will hook you up. But um, I think I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. God bless you. Love you. Mean it. Bye.